Investigators now know the right wing was damaged long before the day of the accident. What they don't understand is why the crack could not be stopped. But a glimmer of an answer comes when they learn the plane was sending out warning signs of a deeper, more serious problem. The Chalks airplane involved in the accident were showing evidence of chronic fuel leaks for a long period of time, for many years. According to the log, fuel leaks from the right wing were repaired again and again. But they kept happening. The leaks should have been a clue that the crack in the wing skin was just the tip of the iceberg, that there was a much more dangerous problem with the wing's interior structure. Fuel leaks in this particular aircraft are indicative of a problem with the wing structure. In fact, Grumman put out a service bulletin back in 1963 that warned mechanics chronic fuel leaks are an indicator of a structural issue with the aircraft. He wonders why the fuel leaks persisted in spite of the constant efforts to repair them. Thank you. Beneath the layers of sealant, he finds his answer. Cracks in a critical support beam called a Z-stringer. It's the piece that the plane's skin was directly attached to. Instead, they only applied chemical sealant to the area to make it leak-proof and in the process concealed the damage. Chalks made repeated attempts to repair the airplane by stop drilling the, the wing skin cracks, adding doublers over top of the cracks. But they never addressed the root of the problem, which is the cracked Z-stringer. The reason they couldn't address the Z-stringer is it was covered in, in fuel tank sealant. The broken Z-stringer weakened the entire wing. Now, with every takeoff and landing, the plane's skin was absorbing the forces. Over time, the skin began to crack as well. The final outcome was inevitable. The fatigue cracking reached critical length, and the wing separated from the airplane. Investigators conclude that a hidden crack in a key component of the right wing led to the devastating crash of Flight 101.